What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Kronos. His name is Ulysses. His opponent today in the red color playing as Set. His name is Joe. It's currently one to one in this best of nine series. That means what? Are we now in a best of seven series? Yes. First to four from this point. Wins the series, except Joe is down Isis, Ulysses is down Uranus. But we're going to see them continue on with the same gods. Uh, Kronos versus Set now, uh, an interesting matchup to be uh, to be sure. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of this one, so things get a little bit spicy here where both gods are slight, uh, uh, do have that aggression built into them. Uh, and we'll see how it's going to go as a result. Ulysses does make the early game decision of not going for hunting dogs. So he's going to be going for somewhat of a rush here in this game. His oracles and uh, and herdables are finding some stuff here. We've got ourselves deer over in this corner over here. Uh, and we've got ourselves a relic already found, the, em em uh, the blanket of Empress Zo. Now, the thing is here that... A little known fact is that Set can actually Priest Siege as well. It's not as good as Isis because there's no prosperity, but you do have uh, animals of Set that you can include in your Priest Siege. So you can go for like a Crocodile uh, and Shifting Sands, Ancestors Eclipse, Villager kind of vibe, Priest Siege, and not have to do the thing where you walk across the map and go into your opponent's base. So if we take a quick look, we haven't seen Vision being used by Joe just yet. So this, is a, this isn't a strategy you will see very often, but it is very, very strong in that, well, the idea is that you essentially just do what you do with Isis, which is you do a slightly later advance, two monuments, uh, you get Feral while you're advancing instead of getting... Um, instead of getting Spirit of the Mart, you build your Priests, you build your Siege Towers, you cast Vision on your opponent's base, you grab your Villagers, you Shifting Sands, you take your opponent's home base with the Villagers uh, and the Priests and everything else, and then you just look to kill everything, and you have Crocodiles with Set uh, getting produced by your Pharaoh, and, and you just say, look at me, I am Set, and I am strong. Uh, so we'll see if that's what Joe's going to do, but I know that Joe's Set is much more likely to boom than it is to do crazy kind of delayed villager rushes, which I'm a crazy fan of. Uh, anyways, onwards and upwards. And uh, we will be seeing a temple coming up now for Joe on this position. We've got the animals of Set getting converted over here. Does Ulysses spot this answer? Just he does spot it, and he does kill that uh, that deer there. So he loses the deer, but so too does Joe lose his uh, potential deer there to bring back to his home base. Uh, the wolf over here going to be getting converted as well. That's a nice one to be stolen away as the hyena do spot these boars here. So Joe definitely going to want to move over and grab those. At this point, Ulysses hasn't scouted these out just yet. If we take a quick look at Ulysses' perspective, oh, he knows there's a boar over here, but that's, oh, and he knows that there's a boar here. So he does know that there's something there, but hasn't really spotted them very well just yet. As we do see, I thought I heard something going on here. We've got our time-shifting mana, Prometheus on the way. Will we see the temple getting shifted forward or not is the big question. There is an open gold mine over here, which Ulysses will spot here uh, as oh, he sees the he sees the gold mine. He sees the tower over here, but he doesn't know how open it is. Uh, and it is a four minute advance time from Ulysses. No hunting dogs here, which I do think is a mistake. Uh, but he, he might get hunting dogs a little bit later when he notices the boar over here. But while this is happening, we see the priest going to come in and slowly start to take away these boar from uh, from Ulysses. This is pretty sneaky. It's definitely a, a smart play here from Joe as the temple is on the front here. Going to be going after these villages on this location over here. There's no uh, pharaoh on this position. There's no priests over there at this point. So the Promethean here will... Uh, cause enough issues for Joe that he's going to have to retreat off of this food. As he's running away, we see Ptah coming through. It's going to be about a 4.30 advance time. Fairly standard. The villagers will have to come back into their base now. Set can hunt in the classic loads for just a little bit. He gets three gazelle, two hyena that he can eat, and he can also make gazelle out of his pharaoh if he so chooses. The villagers are going to be making their way over onto this town center, though. He's got himself 336 gold in the bank as the uh, Pharaoh coming over here. It looks like we might be seeing a vision and a shifting sands coming through here for Joe. 
Uh, and we see the temple coming back, and the units do come in onto this position. They do find one citizen. They're going to be trying to take that one down here immediately. We see the Valor getting cast as the citizen does end up falling here. And is that worth it or not is the big question. A one citizen kill here trading for a pharaoh. The town center on the way right now for Joe, but... This is, uh, this is awfully spicy as the Pharaoh is going to be attempting to retreat away. All those animals are set, going to be getting taken out. Uh, and the question is, will the Pharaoh get all the way back home or not here? He lost a Wadget. Five animals are set. Almost the Pharaoh, potentially the Pharaoh, and definitely the Pharaoh in power time for about a minute or two here for a citizen kill. So uh, a lot of God powers blown on that, on that shift there and... Was it good or not? I don't know. 22 HP remaining on this Pharaoh. 14 HP. Uh, we'll see if it's going to be able to get back. I don't think it will. Ulysses is going to chase this one down. Probably would have been worth it to just delete the Pharaoh at that point. As the town center is just about up. The Terma are going to be moving in and spotting this one. Uh, the question is going to be, will they be able to deny it or not? As Ulysses runs right past the town center. Not able to deny it. We'll find these villages on the uh, on the deer here. As he's going to lose one there. And it's going to move over here onto this town center. One thing that... Set can do with a lot better than Isis here is go for Slingers. Slingers can be trained much, much quicker. So we might be seeing Joe going for the Slingers here. As we see a monument to the villagers coming up, a armory here as well. Villagers now onto the chicken. We see some more boars getting converted over here. I would love to see Joe sending these back home to eat as, I mean, these are these Ulysses and he's not going to, Ulysses is a boar and he's not going to be able to eat them anytime soon here as the villagers of Joe are happily on this wood line over here. Uh, no gold currently getting gathered for Joe as he's throwing down his barracks on this position here. He's going to be putting everything into trying to maintain villager production as the game continues along. The hero Terma wandering forward and Ulysses is going to take this position to get uh, to get the to get the citizen out. And we'll see. Uh, not the citizen, the, temp, the town center. To take, take this opportunity to get his second town center. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a whole bunch of elk over here that he can eat, and he's going to be happy about that. Uh, so we all continue on on our merry way here as Ulysses is also taking this opportunity to be very, very mean and kill all of these elk. There is technically nothing wrong with this and uh, somewhat encouraged in tournaments, but, you know, it is what it is. As we see, uh, Terma does actually end up falling there to that town center. The town center very, very accurate here in this game. Uh, as the Terma do come over onto this gold mine, going to be checking this one out. Uh, just a little bit here as the Terma going to slowly take the wall down. It will take a very, very long time to be to be taking that out. As now we see a barracks getting dropped by Joe. The Terma going to swing around this position. We see some walls getting thrown up a little bit late here by... Uh, a little bit late here by Joe, and he will get a little bit of damage onto the walls, but not enough as the villagers retreat back, and he will get away with one HP there, and so too will this hero Terma as it's going to be retreating back. So Ulysses is going to be searching around the map now for something to take out. Villagers coming over here onto this hunt as Slingers getting built out, and We'll see how what Joe's going to do. Joe can turn around and shank here just a little bit. Garrison, when the Terma uh, shoot and kind of outplay just a little bit there, but he did go for it. And the Terma going to be retreating away. We see the boars trying to sneak their way back home, but Ulysses has spotted it with his oracles, and it seems like they're going to be going straight after these uh, these boar here. And Joe's going to be upset about this one because he needed he needed this hunt. Well, he wanted this hunt in, in a big way. As one boar down, one hyena down, two boars down, and a wolf down to boot here. As the slingers are out, these relic monkeys coming through to scout out all of the shenanigans going on. Uh, Joe does have enough villages on food right now to support production he's coming over onto this uh onto these elk yet again as now we've got ourselves 10 slingers versus eight terma the villagers will be retreating away here and getting back into the town center for the time being the slingers able to take down terma very very fast here and joe's going to take this position and be happy about that one boar did actually end up surviving here as uh as joe is still slowly but surely taking these boar out it takes one minute to convert a boar so this priest has been working hard for a very very long time here in this game as the pharaoh going to come in onto this position to try and empower this one up as the 
Slingers going to be facing off against the Terma. The question here is, is Ulysses still producing Terma answers? Yes. Now, while this works really, really well for Aranus, it works a lot less well for Kronos because you have five, uh, point, uh, point 0.5 speed less, which means the Slingers can attack these Terma as they retreat away. So it's just a little bit harder to dip in and dip out. And I do think this thing is win like up in a straight up uh, cost for cost battle here. There are Promethean coming through. So those are a little bit of an issue as it is. Uh, and we will be seeing the Slingers having to retreat back to Terma going down. The Slingers are going to get chased down a little bit as we see the Pharaoh coming through to try and take down this Promethean here, being a very, uh, a big way out of position here, though, as the Slingers going to get some good damage done. Villagers getting pulled here as the Pharaoh does get a little bit of mismicry here, running straight into the front of the map, um, going after this uh, this Promethean here as the Villagers come through. The Terma will have to retreat back. This Town Center looks like it's going to barely go up. Will it get up or not? Looks like they really just get onto it in time here as we do see some spearmen coming in onto this position. Joe's at 66 uh, population. Uh, Ulysses is at 85 population. Is the Pharaoh going to be get uh, targeted down? The villagers trying to sneak around the uh, the citizen here. The villagers getting pulled off of that town center there as it looks like with the help of a boar, he might be able to kill this one off. Nope, the citizen looks like it's going to be able to retreat away. Where is he going or where is she going? She's going up to these uh, these termi here as we see the, uh, the citizen going to be getting away way just barely but the town center gets denied for the time being joe does have to retreat back here uh just a little bit the balls is still helping out uh, a little bit here as this villager has got 22 hp getting uh sniped down there as the slingers do come in to take that one out the promethean still making their way in into this fight and it does look like joe gonna have to retreat away but uh, was that worth the cost or not is the big question here as Joe's getting back to his home base. He's still making spearmen. He's still making slingers. He, I don't think he has Shadoof yet. No Shadoof, no plow, no husbandry. Uh, so very far behind in those uh, in, in that regard, but plenty of villages, lots of gold in the bank to make farms. So he can do that. Uh, very very soon and we will be seeing a, another citizen coming forward to finish off the work of, of uh, that once uh, brave uh, hero villager on the front here i mean you do have chronos and you could have time shifted a mana for there but a little bit lazy from ulysses and he does get slightly punished for it as his term are gonna get uh pulled back here villagers coming onto this gold mine for the time being as now we see Ulysses turning around, going to continue this fight now. And Joe does have to be careful. He, he needs priests in his army to deal with these Prometheans. And in the classic age, those priests just aren't that good. 3.3 damage, uh, 14 range, 99 HP. Just not that, not that good. But then again, neither are the Prometheans. So uh, they're going to be completely fine where that's concerned here. As Joe pushing in with his army over here yet again he, he's got to he's got to slow down just a little bit he can't continue to force fights it's not the way to play against the the, the atlantean civilization at all because atlantean's got the economic advantage for the most part so you are seeing those prometheans getting taken down nicely the priests coming through we're now starting to see momillo into the fray now for ulysses so things getting a little bit more dicey for these slingers here as a pharaoh coming in in the back line to try and take down these promethean as best as they can they're getting taken down very very fast here as look at that damage that the pharaoh does that's a big chunk every single time uh, he throws his his big bowl of doom uh, Promethean does get picked off but now so many units in for Ulysses at 118 population Joe's at 76 population having to retreat back we see another barracks getting thrown up there is a safe gold mine over here villages on these boar over on this location as well Joe really didn't need to pressure there at all he's got safe resources up the wazoo here in this game as uh Ulysses is really the one who has to make something happen in this game in a big way as the villagers are getting taken out. He's pull Joe pulls back. He's going to be able to jump onto this wood yet again. And we do have to remember that Joe hasn't gotten any economic upgrades in this game. Hand Axe is a pretty big ticket upgrade for the wood gather rate for Egyptians. So too is Pickaxe and Shaft Mine, which Joe has neither of, as well as Husbandry. All of these technologies really, really help the economy of an Egyptian player and not having them is a big deal. 
who's now Ulysses making some Carabella. So this is the this is actually the big difference between Uranus and Kronos as well. Where the advantage for Kronos comes in is that the Carabella not only costs less, but they do move faster at 4.24 speed. So they're a little bit safer about uh, against against an opponent's classical age army. Uh, and they can they can help take down those units really nicely. In fact, they're, they're a little bit they're almost as fast as an axe, but so that's uh, that's a big deal here as the unit's going to be searching around and we see a bold play here by Ulysses as he's going to be grabbing Joe's fourth or Joe's third town center in this game as the units push in onto this position the uh, Pharaoh and the priest getting caught out as Joe still not learning his lesson here in this game as he gets caught out for I don't know how many times here his army gets absolutely massacred and he's in a he's in a world of pain right now. He's retreating away. Villagers on this gold mine doing what they can. Ulysses now getting himself pickaxe at 14 minutes. But the army that Ulysses has assembled is overwhelming. Shadoof now getting researched for Joe as he has to pull off this gold mine. Plenty of gold in the bank for the time being here. The villagers finishing up on these berries. He's going to start making farms sure, uh, shortly, I'm sure. But uh, Joe's making things difficult for himself. As the priests do turn around, try and take down the Prometheans. One priest goes, uh, gets taken out. The army going to be pushing it onto this position. Plenty of units coming through. 144 of 145 population. Ulysses is going to be more than happy to fight underneath Town Center fire, especially when the Town Center is focusing down a uh, 227 HP Promethean here. As the villagers have to get garrison, but they are they are getting taken down quite. Uh, quite nicely and that's just so many idle villagers here as the villagers do get pulled off they will take down the Cairo Ballister here uh, pretty quickly and he might want to just retreat back to his home base meanwhile we do see the villagers just barely spotting this town city going up as Joe gets a little bit of a win here in this game as the normal citizen pulled back the hero citizen has been set to passage stance Ulysses not paying attention over here thinking that his town center was up as the citizen gets taken up uh, taken out Joe wants this town center for himself the villagers over here getting uh, pulled back. We see some side builds coming down for Ulysses as Ulysses realizes that a gold staff is in sight. Deconstruction getting used on a barracks there as it does go down. More units streaming in onto this position as we do see a handful of units coming over here to try and take down the villagers that are on this position. But we do have some slingers already over here. The villagers can fight back nicely as well as Joe wants this town center as best as he can. Meanwhile, Pharaoh coming up here. This is the fourth Pharaoh we've seen for Joe in this game as military barracks coming up for Ulysses over here is looking like it wants to deny this gold mine just a little bit. Joe now with no gold in the bank. There is a gold mine over here as well that Joe might be able to grab. Uh, but Joe putting everything in to try to get this town center up and holding on in this game as uh, as Ulysses is more than happy to just hang out here because there's 19 villagers idle. So right now, if you take 19 villagers off of Joe's total, you're going down to 44 or 45 villagers or whatever it is. I don't know. And Joe going to have to tap out here in this game as Ulysses Kronos too strong for Joe in this in this game here uh, I do think that maybe I, I want to say a lack of understanding here for Joe because that would be somewhat insulting but maybe just a, a couple of mistakes or or brain lapses in general uh, classic fight versus uh, classic fight versus Atlantean theory uh, like you don't want to move out let the Atlantean come to you boom and you have to kind of allow that because the Kronos or the Atlantean has got more resources than you no matter kind of no matter what and if we take a look at this you can see that in in reality so taking taking what look to be equal fights are not equal at any point as you can see 110 units killed 95 lost but even if this was equal there's still 124 more units created for Ulysses than Joe was created so uh, that becomes a really really big issue uh, and that's a big reason why Ulysses was able to take this game so easily even after the early game damage that Joe was able to do uh, I am really really interested in in set in set timing attacks and the fact that we don't see set go for these timing attacks enough makes me sad one day we'll see them uh, anyways uh, until that day, uh, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next game.